Hello ladies and gentlemen, Marauder X here back with more Let's Play Shining Force 3 Scenario 3. Uh, some things I've done off screen. I sold all of the items that we did not need, uh, like the, the various uh, maces that we got in the last fight, uh, the heat axes, things like that. Uh, sold all of the unnecessary items. I bought uh, healing drops to make sure everyone has two healing drops on them at all times now, because medical herbs have basically outlived their usefulness. So we are going to proceed onward on the garter of planes we're going to keep going and past the lighthouse area i don't know if we have to walk across the lighthouse area or if it just instantly takes us to the next fight uh it just takes us to the next fight all right so this fight it's going to be fun we're on a beach meaning our movement is going to be crap we can stick to the non-beach section, but even then it's got, like, mountainous terrain, so it's... Movement's gonna be crap. We've got a couple of bad guys that we have to deal with. Let's go ahead and look around and see what we've got. Uh, this fight... Um... Yeah, there's... There's a lot of... Alright, so if Stella was spared versus if Stella was killed, the enemy changes. So we obviously have Stella here, so she was spared in Scenario 2. So we've got... Um, mega Loaders, HP of 53, Movement of 4, Attack of 57, Defense of 37, Agility of 17, Luck of 2, with Great Shells. Still the same crap that we've been dealing with. They are not a threat, especially now they're going to be even less of a threat. We've got, what, three of them? Supposedly five Wing Knights. I see four. I don't know where the last one is, but the... It says five. Oh, I guess that's that's the fifth one. So yeah, five wing knights. So we've got wing knights, HP of 48, movement of six, attack of 53, defense of 33, agility of 20, luck of two with spears. So they, they are the same wing knights that we fought before. We've got three Barisol soldiers. HP of 48, movement of six, attack of 55, defense of 38, agility of 21, luck of two. Carrying broadswords, those three guys, not really much of a threat. Then we've got two Aspenia Mages, HP of 60, MP of 16, movement of 5, attack of 48, defense of 29, agility of 25, luck of 4, with wooden rods, with blaze 3. Same guys that we fought in the last fight on the, the bridge, not much of a problem. The boss of this battle is a masked mage, HP of 124. MP of 34, movement of 5, attack of 52, defense of 29, agility of 25, luck of 7, bronze rod with spark 2 and confuse 2. He is a threat simply because of those two spells. That's that's really all he brings to the table. The and the fact that he can you know, throw out, I think, two spark 2s, so we've, we've got to be careful about that. But then we've got Proton and Stella, who are ordered to stop us, but they are very conflicted at the moment as well. Stella is counted as an NPC for this fight, but Proton is attackable, he is killable, we don't want to kill him because that means we won't get him in our party. Proton, HP of 54, MP of 20, movement of 6, attack of 68, defense of 40, agility of 24, luck of 9. Carrying a great sword can drop a potion, if we kill him, has slow 2 and blaze 1. Slow is the antithesis of support, so it lowers our agility and defense, meaning we take more damage. Now. We have to spare Proton. The problem is he is programmed to try to get in between us and the Masked Mage. So the goal is to not kill Proton. We don't want Proton to die. We fought fairly long and hard up until this point to get Stella, uh, to make sure Stella survived so that we could get Proton. And I do find, I, I find it a little dick. I'm, I'm not gonna lie about this. I think it's a little obnoxious that we managed to to spare Stella in Scenario 2, which should be the victory condition for getting uh, Proton on, on our force, we still have yet another victory condition, whereas if we went with uh, Tybalt, all we have to do is kill Stella. Like, that, it's one thing. But the, the differences in stats are not that nominal. It's like Proton is not that much stronger of a general than Tybalt. 
but we get him so much later, we have to go through so much more to get him, he's not that much more powerful. And I think that's kind of kind of obnoxious. Like, he gets access to the slow spell, which is... It can be devastating. Whereas Tybalt only gets access to Antidote, which means nothing in this game. Like, it would have been helpful in, like, maybe one fight when we got point. The one fight it probably would have been helpful with, and that's only if I could have gotten him to that point, is uh, with the Brute in the caves when uh, Gracie was poisoned. Like, that would have been it. So... And even then, I already had someone who could use Antidote, I just couldn't get him, or get uh, Isabella there to save him at the time. So, it's... But, like, I, I kind of feel that Proton should have gotten a little bit more. Like, he should have... Like, his stats should be more reflective of the amount of effort we have to put into getting him. Because, as it, is, as it stands, it's... It's kind of lackluster that we have to go through three chapters and an extra fight to meet his victory or his uh, joining conditions, and that just I, something about that bothers me. I don't know. I mean, I guess it could just be me, but I, if I'm sure other people have have analyzed it before, and maybe Proton sets really are that much better, and I've just never actually seen them. But I've seen some people with Tibble like it's. It's really kind of six of one, half dozen of the other. So... Which, like I said, it may not be the case. It could be uh, just a, a complete uh, fluke in terms of uh, particular stats. So... But I'm, I'm sure someone out there will be like, no, no, the, the, the stat distribution is more in favor of one character or another, or... They're they're pretty even, or and, and that they aren't fair. And like, I'm sure someone who has a little bit more of a a breakdown on the math will be able to tell me. It's like, oh yeah, by the way, that's this is yeah, this is completely crap, and it sucks to be like burden so much harder for not much of a game. So at least I'm kind of hoping someone will will point that out that that's the case because that and make it feel a little bit more justified in having to. And, and me being slightly upset about it, I should say. Alright, Honesty is 14. I should probably catch up. I'm probably not going to catch up. I don't know why Honesty is so much higher level than everyone else. Really didn't think I was using her that much, but... And... Gracie is not going to do a lot of damage from this point on. So that's, that's okay. Uh, I can't attack him, because I don't have... Well, I can attack him. We're going to use my Arc Halberd. It's probably going to crack. But... Oh, really? One... One point. Alright, sure, whatever. That's fine. I'll have, I'll have Cyclops kill him. Cyclops is level 12. And now level 13. So, not a bad level up. Several twos in there. That's that's good. Alright, Kate's also 13, so don't really need to do too much with Kate. I'm going to let them kind of come to us. I kind of want to stay on the grass so that my terrain doesn't suck. But I also want to lure out those wing knights. Because what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to make just a rush toward the Mass Monk. Uh, I've got the Sleep Wand on uh, on Bridget, which will be a little helpful, but he's got a luck of nine, so it's not going to stick. Uh, so th really the goal is to just not attack Proton at all. He's, he's going to come in and start attacking us, so our goal is just mitigate the damage. And we get reach a certain point, there's going to be a little bit of story, apparently. General Proton, what's wrong with you? The Julian army is not to be underestimated. If you do not give the orders, you will give them the advantage. While the Proton army is fighting with all their might, you are idle. You are certainly hurting your soldiers' morale. 
I... I can't attack them. I'm indebted to Prince Median for his kindness towards Stella. How can I attack the force escorting his mother? Is that so? It's Stella, is it? Well then, I'll make it easier for you to fight. Bullzo Monk, you... Don't worry, General Proton, Stella has not been harmed yet. What have you done to her? That trap radiates plasma energy from time to time and affects the person trapped inside. If you take too long, I can't guarantee her life. So, before her health is gone, we have to defeat the Julian army? What are you going to do to me? I'm sorry for the Stella, but to boost the general's battle spirit, you must remain in there for now. Stella, suffering like this. You've not been well recently, and... She'll be alright, General, provided you deal with the situation at hand. Now, to save Stella's life, you must battle the Julian army. Are you still debating? Take your time, then. I joyfully await your decision. Alright, so, it sounds like that there's... A, a time limit, but because Stella is an NPC without a health bar, it it, it doesn't do anything. Uh, there's like there, there's nothing to worry about. Like we don't need to sit here and go, oh well, he's gonna she's gonna take X amount of damage every round until we we defeat. No, there's there's no damage. So all right, Julian's level 14 and has Spark three. And a fairly decent level up. And recovers 2 HP. Let's kill him to make up for the fact that Don Hort has been kind of crap lately. So. And levels to 13 in the process. And learns Air Dance. <laughs> good, good. That's... even more things that we need at the moment. So, just keep moving forward. Keep doing damage to these enemies. I'm just gonna kinda s work my way around the battlefield. You're gonna go over and attack Kate. Of course you are. You're not gonna do too much damage to Kate. Why do, oh, cause she's got a Gale Ring. She's got the defense and agility, doesn't she? No, she doesn't. She's got the Master Ring. Why is she taking such little damage? That's weird. I mean, she's she's 13, but nine death. She should be taking a little bit more damage than that, shouldn't she? That math seems a little weird, but I'm gonna go with it. So, tail bomb, bitch slap, and no level up for thousand. So sad. However, Leon, I'm gonna come over and put a world of hurt. On the Barisol Soldier. He's already 13, so that's... That's alright. Alright, Wing Knights. What are you doing? Oh crap, I forgot. Melinda's over there. Let me use my Green Dragon to kind of protect Melinda. Stella, I can't do anything while you are in danger. I'm alright. Please don't fall into the monk's trap. Please don't. You don't look alright to me. You haven't been in the best condition lately. Alright, so they keep hinting at something that she's not well. It, it actually, ind it's indicative of something. I don't want to spoil it, so I'm not going to, but she's not, like, she's not in the best health to be fighting in a battle. So... Which typically in, in this sort of situation is either, you know, uh, dying of... I don't know why. I, I'm, this is a completely unrelated tangent. But uh, tuberculosis. Huge thing in a lot of, uh, uh, of stories uh, in JRPGs or anime. I, I mean, was, was it that prevalent in, in, in Japan for a period of time? Because that's... I don't know what... 
the deal is, but it, it seems so strange to me uh, that uh, tuberculosis is mentioned so often. And mostly, I see it in a lot of uh, historical style anime, like Kenshin. Rurouni Kenshin's not historic, but it, it, it's based on uh, that time frame, uh, and like it's it's mentioned several times then, like. I guess tuberculosis was a big thing, so... I can't stand it anymore, Stella. What are you saying, General? Can't stand anymore. Are you actually the Julian army? If I don't, don't defeat the Julian army, then I'll lose you. After I defeat the Julian army, I'll make amends for the life with the life of the Bolson monk and my own life. So he's... After he defeats us, he's planning on killing the masked monk and himself. Finally, with General Proton dedicated to the battle, we will prevail. Yeah, no, you're you're not gonna, because I'm I'm not gonna let Proton kill any of my people. Proton's Proton's good, but I'm I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna just kind of. What I want to do is I want to lure him away with someone who's kind of tanky, and. Uh, go from there. Like, I, like, get him off to the side so that I can just start... Please tell me Proton's not just gonna make a beeline... He's gonna make a beeline towards me, isn't he? Alright. Well, let's, let's get my force in position. I wish there was a... I wish there was a stun spell. But unfortunately, luck of nine, which he's not gonna keep, which is what pisses me off. I hate that about uh, situations like this, because, like, we know this character is not going to keep a luck of nine, especially if we manage to successfully get him to join. But right now, he has a luck of nine, meaning he is unaffected by status effects, only to become affected by status effects in the n the next fight, and it's like, it, it aggravates me. Alright, so... Again, Leon with the Wing Knights, not gonna let them get a word in edgewise. Again, I'm gonna kinda keep my my dragon in between everyone else and Lady Melinda. Alright. They don't have any more... What I might do is just... I've got several... I've got flyer units. I mean, I've got three flyers. I might just try to send them over and try to go after... But, I mean, even with the fly... That's that's a lot of magic damage. Okay, not as much magic damage. So... I might cast Resist. I don't have Resist, do I? I don't have anyone who has Resist. Because she doesn't have the Ankh for it. Alright, I'm going to put you there. I'm going to have Leon just kind of hang out out here. Thousand, you're going to go up over here and you're going to follow... Um, you're going to follow Honesty. I almost called her Waltz. Like, no, no, that's, that's not right. Not Waltz. And, of course, they're not going to do too much damage to me. I'm not terribly worried, but... And I'm going to go ahead and send my green dragon up as well. Alright. And let's send a couple of people down here. See, like I said, the sand really just sucks. Alright. Um, I'm going to cast support on honesty and... I can't, because I only have... It's only rank one, really. 
Alright, fine then. I'm gonna move you over here. I'm gonna move... I'm gonna move you there. And I'm just gonna kinda leave everyone else over here for now. Um, and it's about time for me to end this episode. Alright, so he's coming forward. That's okay. I'm kind of okay with this. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and end the episode here, and I will see you all in the next installment, where hopefully we can not kill Produn so that we can finally get him to join us. So yeah, till then, later everyone.